React might be obsolete next year. No, it really won't. Um, like I, I know that, I know that it's fun to say like, oh, uh, the web development and JavaScript community is so, uh, like there's a new framework every week, but there really, really isn't. Uh, Angular and Angular has had such a long lifetime. Uh, Angular launch, hang on, Angular, uh, Wikipedia. When was Angular launched? Does anybody remember when it was like the, the, the first version of Angular? 2009 seems, seems correct. 2010, 2010. So it's like, it's seven years ago uh, and it's still being used. Like things are not moving that fast. React was, React is still the up and coming thing compared to React. And it was, what is that, five years ago, four? Uh, Wikipedia says October 20th, 2010. But when was React? Uh, I'm, I'm just guessing, five. <laughs> and it, it's, it, if you just, if you look at the big movements and focus on like the things that are gaining traction, the ones that are actually, actually matters, um, then you won't really have to learn all that many frameworks. You need to learn a new one, perhaps every third year, um, uh, at best, uh, at worst, uh, like people are excited about Vue, but it's like, good God, like you don't need to jump on every little framework that does an iteration on top of another framework. You can wait for a while to see if it works out and see if it gains traction. And then you start like, okay, maybe this is something that you should check out. Like web development is not fashion. It's not like the stock market. It's not where you have to be absolutely at the edge of things. That is not how development works. Oh, React was uh, to March 2013, four years ago. Image Nikki, um, I, I for one am super grateful for all the people working so hard to improve the JSA ecosystem. Yes, that is so true. Uh, I, I, I am really grateful too. We should be so happy that we have so many tools and so many people working on them. Like a lot of it is crap, but a lot of it is just of fantastic quality as well.